the chamfer command. I will be chamfering these two rectangles using three different chamfer techniques. The first, I'm going to select the chamfer icon from the modify toolbar. I'm going to type in the letter D. Notice all the options at the command prompt. I'm going to type in D for distance, enter. And the first chamfer distance, I'm going to type in 0.5, enter. And I want you to notice that the second chamfer dis distance defaults to the first chamfer distance. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. I press enter. Select the first line. I'm going to select this line and then this line. And I create a 45 degree chamfer from the corner. It has been chamfered 0.5 this way, 0.5 this way. And it creates the chamfer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the chamfer icon from the Modify Toolbar again. I'm going to type in D for distance again. And I'm going to type in 0.75 for the first chamfer distance. Press Enter. I'm not going to default to the 0.75 this time. I'm going to type in 0.375 for the second chamfer distance and press Enter. Now I'm going to pick this line first and this line second. Now notice, from the corner this is the first chamfer distance, the first line you selected from the corner 0.75. From the corner this is 0.375. This is the second chamfer distance that you that you typed in. This is the second line that you selected. I'm going to do it again up here. I'm going to select chamfer I'm going to select this line first. This should be my 0.75 chamfer. I'm going to select this line second, 0.375. From the corner, 0.75. From the corner, 0.375. Now there's one more method, and I'm going to select chamfer. And I'm going to type in D for distance again. I'm going to type in 0.5, enter. I'm going to default to the first one. But this time, I'm going to type in the letter P for polyline and enter. And I'm going to select the rectangle, which is a polyline. I'll pick it anywhere I want. And it chamfers all four corners. This is the chamfer command. 